everyone. Welcome to Trent Kids at Home. It's great to see you. It's great to see you twos, threes, jets, and those babies too. I hope you are all well. I hope you've all had a fantastic Easter. And I know we talked about the first part of the Easter story a few weeks ago. I wonder if you can remember that. We all know that Jesus died on the cross, but what happened next? Let's read the rest of the Bible to find out. And quite a lot did happen. It was early on Sunday morning. The women were going to Jesus' grave. They had spices to make it smell nice. But where was the big heavy stone? Someone had rolled it away. The women went inside. <gasps> they gasped. Jesus isn't here. His body is gone. Then they saw a shining angel. Do not be afraid, said the angel. I know you are looking for Jesus, but he isn't here. God has brought him to life again. Now off you go and tell Jesus' special friends. The women ran and ran. This was the best day ever. He's alive, he's alive, he sh they shouted. Jesus is alive. The angel told us. We went to the grave and his body wasn't there. But the men shook their heads. This is crazy. So they ran to go and see. And you're right, Jesus is alive. They ran to tell other people and they were so excited to see Jesus again. They spent a lot of time together after Jesus rose from the dead. But it was time, it was time for Jesus to go home. So he gathered his friends together I have done all that God wants me to do, Jesus said to his friends. Now go and tell everybody about me. Make me lots more friends. Tell them everything I have told you, how God wants to rescue them and make them safe. Wait here until God sends his special helper. Then go and tell the whole world about me. As they were talking, a cloud came over the mountain and they couldn't see Jesus anymore. But where had he gone? Suddenly two men were standing there who were angels in shining clothes. They said Jesus has gone back home to God his Father. He will come back one day, but not for now. The disciples continued to spend time together. And one day they were all in a room. They heard the wind coming. A big wind was coming. In through the door rushed the sound of the wind and right around the room. Fire came with the wind. Little flames blew all around and came to rest. One flame on every person in the room, but no one was burned. Jesus' special friends were all together in that room when the wind came and the little flames of fire. Everyone started to talk all at once. They were all speaking strange languages. God's special helper had come. Now they would be able to tell the whole world about Jesus. There were lots of visitors in Jerusalem. They had come from far and wide. What's happening, they said. Someone is telling the wonderful things that God has done. And I can hear it in my very own language. God's special helper had helped communicate the good news to everybody. Peter stood up and spoke to the people. We have to tell you about Jesus, how God sent him to rescue us and make us safe, and you let him die on the cross. What are we to do? The people asked. Tell God that you are sorry, and he will forgive you. Then if you want, you can all be friends with Jesus. And that day, 3,000 people said, yes, I want to be friends with Jesus. That's amazing. It's great being friends with Jesus. I'm a friend of Jesus and you can all be friends with Jesus too. Let's pray together now. I'm going to go ask God's special helper, what we call the Holy Spirit, to come and be with us and rest with us now. Lord Jesus, thank you for your precious children. I just ask that your Holy Spirit will come and be with us now. I pray that you would be with every child um, watching this video now. 
And I just pray that they would just feel so peaceful in the knowledge that you are with them and that you are always there to be their friend. We give you the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's do a big amen. Amen. Brilliant. See you next time. Bye-bye.